How long have you been playing Roblox Funky Friday? Are you one of those players who thinks they know everything that ever came into the game? There's been a lot of updates throughout Funky Friday's journey and also minor changes that slipped under the radar of most people. These things can range from recent additions to the more nostalgic ones, so smack that like and subscribe if you're an OG, comment below when you joined Funky Friday, use star code attack, and let's travel back into the top 7 things that only Funky Friday OGs remember. Number 1, the first update. Do you even remember when the first update came to Funky Friday? What did the first update even have? Well, all the OGs know about this. All the way back on March 7th, Funky Friday had its first update, which included the B-Sides week of 1 through 4. This was also when they decided to improve the Peppy Cola, as it was a bit stiff when it first came out. Actually, this was when the shop was first introduced as well. During the first week of the release, Funky Friday didn't even have a shop and you couldn't get any points from your gameplay. Fast forwarding to today, we have well over 30 plus unique animations to choose from, so that was an amazing addition to say the least well over 6 months ago. Number 2, the old microphone models. Yeah, those microphones that you're holding in your hand right now. Those weren't even the original models. If we play this nostalgic gameplay clip of Funky Friday back on March 11th, we can see that LEGO and Java, the two developers of Funky Friday, are holding very different microphone models that look very skinny and blacked out. Now these microphones did the job for a little while, but it wasn't until the update of March 12th was when they released a new microphone model, the one in which we all know today. But who knows, maybe in the future they might add a microphone customization setting. That would be another cool mechanic to add in. Number 3, the old song menu. Today's song menu we have so many mods to choose from, easily over 100 songs in the library as well which can be sometimes hard to choose. But what did the old Funky Friday song menu look like? Well the OGs remember, back on March 11th we got a glimpse of what the old song selector menu looked like and it included several mods such as a Neo mod and B-side weeks 1 through 4. All of the songs were added to the same panel, no tabs or search features on this one. If we go even further back, this is what the original menu looked like back on March 4th, which is even before the first update was ever published. This only had the original songs. The only mods included was basically versus Woody and that was it. And this is what the gameplay looked like of basically what was the first version of Funky Friday, thanks to Biden for the footage. Number 4, Activated the Trees. Chances are most what? of you newer players have no idea what I'm talking about, oh, you... but the activated the trees was one of the biggest secrets we had to solve in Funky Friday. Starting with the May 10th update, which included the FL mod, there was a strange message on the bottom stating that the trees have been activated. This caused the community to go haywire and ask many questions about it. Could it have been they are replacing the giant tree in the middle of the previous map's hub? Were they planning to add in the versus tree mod pretty soon? We had no idea, and to make matters worse, they teased the trees model by adding emojis of fingers pointing at the tree emojis on the next two updates. This built up a lot of hype for the update until the day I posted a video explaining my theory behind this due to a little leaked photo. The tree animation, and well, I was right! Activated the trees end up being the tree animation as shown on the May 18th update with those same emojis next to the feature. We still have yet to see anything as ambitious as this when it comes to secrets, but maybe we could see another in the future. You never know. Number 5, the update craze. Funky Friday nowadays typically gets weekly updates, primarily being on the weekends, which includes a mainstream mod along with a smaller mod. The updates these days are big projects, which require time and patience. But what if I told you that Funky Friday had a run in which the game would receive updates in as quick as 2-3 to three days apart? That was the case back around April and May. For example, they added the Bright Side mod on May 4th, it said April 29th on the picture, but that was a typo. And then literally the next day, they added the Versus Sketchy mod on May 5th. And then two days after that, Versus Neon. The developers were working overtime in order to add these updates in, and there were actually decent sized updates too. 
Now, due to school and life, the updates did have to slow down to once a week, in which we should all be grateful for. But it was crazy to see the game getting updated multiple times a week during its big run. Number six, down scroll. Ah, yes, down scroll. So many people, including myself, use it, and it's been such a game changer. For some, it helps us perceive the notes better and allows us to get more six and points as well. But what if I told you that there was a time that Funky Friday was only stuck with up scroll? Only the OGs remember that. Funky Friday actually never had down scroll as an option. For the first three weeks it was released. All you can play is up scroll unless you flipped your screen upside down. It wasn't until the March 12th update when they posted a poll in the Discord server asking the community whether or not they should add an optional down scroll setting. This had overwhelming support. Two days following that, they posted a short leak video showcasing the new down scroll setting in action, and hours after, finally released the down scroll setting open to the public. This has completely changed the whole landscape of the game and setting a war between up scroll and down scroll players, and ultimately helped shape the path to the Funky Friday that we know and love today. Number 7, the deleted mods and songs. The game has had a lot of mods added in throughout its life. There's been over 30 plus unique mods that have been added in so far, but there have been some mods that were removed in the past for various reasons. You didn't know about that? Well, oh, only the OGs brother. know about them. The first songs to ever get removed from Funky Friday wasn't actually a mod. They were the funny songs that were posted on April Fool's Day, which include the reappearance of Miku, which ended up being a Rick Roll, and Mogus, which was the Among Us theme that was charted in. These songs only lasted two days and then were removed in the Zardi update. The first mod that ended up getting deleted was the Sky mod, which was added back on April 16th. The mod only lasted two weeks and was then deleted, as well as the Sky animation being refunded, followed by the Bright Side mod being added on April 29th and being removed from the game and the animation being refunded another two weeks after that. Only those who play Funky Friday religiously will know about this next one, but at one point, the Beach Brothers mod was actually in the game as well, but for less than three hours. I repeat, three hours! The animation was refunded and was not brought up again. Though recent, even the Agoti mod was removed for a time, but it got re-added back a couple of weeks ago, which is cool and dandy. But only the OGs remember the first songs and mods that were removed. Those are the seven things that only Funky Friday OGs remember. When did you join Funky Friday? Let us know in the comments. Let's find out who the oldest Funky Friday player is. Make sure to smack that like and subscribe if you're an OG. You start code attack and we'll see you all on the next one.